Wholly owned versus regional airline, what's the difference in the COVID-19 era? You'll be surprised by the answer. Well, folks, welcome to another question of the week here at Aviation Careers Podcast. Today, a question comes in from feedback at aviationcareerspodcast.com. Don't forget, you can ask questions right below here in the show notes. So if you have a question, go ahead and ask. Uh, the person asks us this, Carl, can you do a video on the health of the regional airlines in the COVID-19 era, specifically wholly owned versus independence? Well, the most important thing, and you're going to be surprised by this answer, is that it depends. It depends on the financial health and also the contracts that are involved with those regional airlines. You know, a lot of people think that a wholly owned is the best thing for them as far as their career is concerned, and that may be at the time that you get hired. But remember, things do change. So let's look at just the financial health of the airline. The regional airline you're looking at, the most important thing about their financial health is their finances, the money they have in their bank, and also the contracts they have with those major airlines. If they're a wholly owned subsidiary, of course they have that contract because they're wholly owned and there's a vested interest there. Uh, when they're a contract carrier, then there isn't quite the vested interest that you would see in a wholly owned, but that can change, and we've seen that happen in the past. Interestingly, uh, there's a lot of regional airlines out there, and we're gonna put that in the show notes here. A good example is uh, Comair. Some of you have never heard of Comair, but but it's a regional airline that was wholly owned by Delta Airlines and it was like the premier regional airline to fly for. Uh, that was actually shut down by the major airline. A lot of these uh, regionals, and we won't get into too much on the specifics of that, but it can be both contractual, that's the reason that's changed, or it can also be because of certain finances, underlying finances at that regional airline. Another good example is a, one that's gone by the wayside, it's called Continental Express. It was a wholly owned subsidiary of Continental Airlines and that became actually uh, uh, sold off and uh, it was interesting it was sold a couple times really and the, the name brand Continental Express changed uh, and there's a couple carriers that came out from that and some of those planes that were flying for Continental Express have actually changed airlines more than once amazingly enough so I think part of your question is this as far as your career is concerned uh, as far as wholly owned and also as far as a, a contract carrier independent carrier doing contract work for the major a uh, couple things there I want to uh, comment about. Number one, it's uh, the contract that talks about the flow through, the flow up, and the flow down. So these can be great agreements for good times when there's lots of flow up to the major airline, but it can be a really bad agreement when they flow back down during a furlough or during the bad times. Something you need to look at at the contract at the regional airline. I know a lot of people ignore that during good times, but uh, this is what can happen. You can flow up to a major airline, but also uh, those major airline pilots can flow down to the regional. Remember, the regional set up, uh, and they were really important for the majors from a financial perspective. They also were important for uh, perspective of career advancement, because that's the best way that you could get some of your flying time if you weren't in the military, etc. But it comes with a little bit of research on your part. There are some independent regional airlines out there that have done really well, have never been owned by a major carrier a great example is SkyWest Airlines a very financially secure airline so does does it matter wholly owned or if it's a subsidiary or excuse me an independent uh, it, it really doesn't more it's the the financial aspect for you as a career seeker uh, the difference is when it's wholly owned, there's a, a direct flow through to the major carrier. You may never have to do another uh, airline interview again. That was my case. I worked for a wholly owned uh, subsidiary of a major carrier. Never had to do another uh, airline interview again until I did five more because uh, that's what I had to do is change airlines that many times. Why did that happen? Because the wholly owned subsidiary was sold and, uh, and then it went on to a couple other carriers. So that can happen to you. So it's a it's only as good as what is, what's going on today. So again, that depends. Uh, really, the most important thing is research your situation. Be prepared for any type of financial uh, changes in the airline industry by saving money and doing your research. Build that time so that you can make it to the majors. Also remember this, the regional carriers don't sell tickets. It's the major airline that actually sells the tickets. And uh, if they decide whether it's one of the independent carriers they're working with, contract carriers, they don't want to use them any anymore, they may take those airplanes and shift them to some other airline. Or 
If it's, a, it's an independent carrier and you're thinking, boy, that's a much more stable, that can change also because they can get rid of the contracts there. Something to think about there. So wholly owned versus independent carrier, it really depends, number one, on the finances, number two, on the contract the regional has with the major carrier because all this can change over time. That's why the most important thing is to get up to a, a major carrier or stick with a regional that is really financially secure. You do that by doing what? Do the, read the financial statements, etc. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below and click on the bell so you get notified each time. Of course, you can write us at feedback at Aviation Careers Podcast if you have any questions. Don't forget to listen to us on the next episode. Hope you're enjoying these questions of the week. We'll talk to you next episode. Safe flying out there. This has been Carl Valeri with the Aviation Careers Podcast Question of the Week.